guys, Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Wolverine and the X-Men issue 21, and this is the Carnival issue, which we'll talk more about um, in a second. Just want to update you guys for a second, and I um, want to just say that I have a Main Spider-Man issue 698 review, but I just uploaded it Wednesday, so don't worry, you didn't miss it, it just was uploaded on Wednesday, just want to make sure you guys don't miss that, and also I have four reviews on uh, Dark Adventure Inc. that I usually do on Comic Uno, which you can go check out in the description below for Dark Adventure Inc. And those reviews are Supergirl, Nightwing, Green Lantern, New Guardians, and Ultimate Comics X-Men. So go check those out, and let's start the review for Wolverine X-Men issue 21. Um, let's talk about the cover. I gotta say I was not excited for this. I was like, what crap are they giving us here? I just was not excited. I'm like, Carnival with Wolverine and X-Men. Let's see what happens with this. So, and the art was, eh, you know, I don't love this little, you know, uh, puffy type of art. It's very uh, cluttered and crowded, and I just didn't love the art. But I was not excited for this issue, but I pick it up because it's Wolverine X-Men, and I I still had this glimmer of hope that would be good. So I was like, alright, let's try it. Let's see this whole carnival issue. Let's see what happens. So let's read this issue and see if I liked it. Um... So we get to see um, the Jean, uh, Jean Grey Institute that everything is going crazy because there is no teachers. And Quentin is the only one that's a little curious about this. Well, actually, everyone's curious about it, but Quentin actually wants to do something about it. And he's just like, all right, where is the teachers? Is this a good thing? Are they testing us? Like, what's going on here? And so, again, everyone's still going crazy about this. Um, we find out that the teachers are in a carnival, and they are being mind washed by this villain who wants to take over adults or for some reason and then some Frankenstein comes in and um the Frankenstein's like oh well I'm trying to kill these adults for body parts yeah um so they are just acting a little crazy and then somehow the X-Men students find them at the carnival who knows how but they do I guess it is Quentin, so he like has his little mind reading thing, so I guess he found out where they were. Um, that's just my guess. I don't know. They, I'm just being optimistic about it. But, um, so we get to see that, and that's pretty much what happens. You know, uh, the whole Wolverine and X-Men teachers, you know, whole Jean Grey Institute teachers are being mind washed. And in the end, we get to see Quentin and the whole students try to um, convince them, hey, you're our teachers, what are you doing here? And they're gonna fight them, because that's exactly what, um, the, the villain wants them to do, because they, they don't want anyone to, um, take control of the X-Men, because they're their prize, uh, possessions to try to bring people to the carnival. And, um, even though it sounds a little crazy. I actually enjoyed this issue. Um, there's definitely parts of this issue that just don't make sense. Like, Quentin and the whole students just going to the carnival somehow without knowing they're at the carnival, and somehow by coincidence, they go to a carnival and the X-Men are there. So that was a little eh. And then also the villains are kind of stupid. <laughs> He's like, oh, well, Frankenstein wants body parts. And I'm just like, oh, okay, Frankenstein. That's a little ridiculous. But I had fun with it, and I, I mean, if you don't take this seriously, I think you really enjoy it. There's just this whole entire, um, it's to tell you the truth, half of the issue, just describing how these X-Men are mind-watching, like, I feel like I have to be somewhere else, but I'm doing all these different things, and it's just like, they're having fun at the carnival, and just being like, Kitty is having swords being thrown at her because she's being phased, and then hilariously, Rachel is reading people's minds, as it, they're just taking these carnival jobs and using their mean and powers and having their personalities. I think it's pretty hilarious. We have Wolverine as a clown, which is pretty funny. So I think if you take this issue not seriously, you could really enjoy it. And um, that's why I did enjoy it. I did, I mean, there was problems. That's why I'm not giving this a perfect grade at all. But there's uh, some really fun parts in this issue that I really enjoyed. I don't know how next issue is going to go because I think that's when the problems are going to really come to a head and make the issue non-enjoyable. But the part that was enjoyable is seeing these um, X-Men teachers just cut loose, you know, and just not be themselves, and that's why I really did enjoy it, because you always get to see the serious X-Men, you never get to see them have a fun X-Men, it really reminded me of, like, Kitty and her fairy tale stories, where it's just kind of fun issue, you know, that fun one-shot issue, um, the villains really annoyed me in this, but, I'm like I said, I think that will affect more next issue, but this issue was really fun, and I'm gonna give it four stars, don't take it seriously, 
just read it as it is, and I think you'll really, really enjoy it. So, um, I give it four stars. Arno's actually a big improvement in what we've been getting. It's not as puffy, the faces. So, uh, it's actually, it's a little cluttered still, which I don't like. I don't like the clutteredness of it. But, um, it's still better art than what we've been seeing. I feel like the art has been improving with this series, and it, maybe it was a guest artist or whatever. But, um... Yeah, no, it was Bradshaw, actually. He just had, um, less puffy faces, and I actually enjoyed that. Um, so he actually had good art. Beast looks a little ridiculous, but, um, and looks a little cluttered still, but the art is a, a little bit of an improvement of what we've been getting. So, uh, I, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna give it four stars. Again, don't take it seriously, and I think you'll really like it, because there's some funny stuff in there. So, um, I give it four stars. Hope you guys enjoyed, and this is Comic Uno, and guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the right situations. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.